Congratulations on your new Isuzu truck. You'll find this truck not only the most productive, versatile, and comfortable you've ever driven, but also one of the cleanest. It has a state-of-the-art emission system that dramatically reduces emissions. The system has two parts, a diesel particulate filter that virtually eliminates smoke and solid particulates, and a selective catalytic reduction system that eliminates nitrogen oxides, which cause smog. The result? Reduced engine emissions to near zero levels, reduced vehicle operating costs, and increased vehicle performance. You can track the status of both of these systems on the Multi-Information Display, or MID, which is located in the instrument cluster. Let's start by looking at the Diesel Particulate Filter, or DPF. The DPF cleans exhaust gases before they're expelled into the atmosphere. Inside the filter housing is a high-tech ceramic material that traps the fine particles of soot and black smoke often associated with diesel engines. During normal driving, the soot accumulates on the ceramic filter. But unlike other filters on your truck, this one can't be replaced. It's a sealed system. So it has to be cleaned from within. The system does this by creating a high internal temperature that burns off accumulated soot. It's a process called regeneration. Under most conditions, you don't have to do anything. This cleaning action takes place automatically while you're driving. It just requires keeping the engine running. Say driving at a sustained speed over 30 miles per hour for a period of time. If you're on the freeway, the system can complete the process in just a few minutes. If you're stopped and idling, it can take up to 20 minutes. During this regeneration process, you'll see this icon in the multi-information display to let you know it's in progress. Another gauge you can access on the MID to monitor the system is the particulate matter level gauge. You can toggle through the available gauges to see it. More bars means more soot in the filter. This gauge only provides status of the filter. It doesn't control it. But during regeneration, it will turn amber and the top bar will flash as the particulate level drops. If you've been driving a lot of short runs, say turning the engine on and off, automatic regeneration may not have time to complete. You may see this message in the MID. The amber light tells you to perform a system regeneration as soon as it's convenient. If this message turns red, it means the DPF is nearly full. Perform a system regeneration as soon as it's practical and safe. You can do this simply by keeping the engine running, either by driving or idling, or by performing a switched or manual regeneration. This process using the manual switch is called selectable regeneration. To perform it, stop the vehicle, apply the parking brake, and place the transmission in park. If you have a manual transmission, shift it into neutral. Make sure the exhaust area is clear of dried leaves, grass, or other materials that can ignite, burn, or lead to a fire. Exhaust parts and gases get very hot during this process. With the engine running, press this regeneration switch. The regeneration process will begin. Again, you'll see this icon in the MID, letting you know regeneration is in progress. It's important to keep the vehicle parked and the engine running until the regen in progress lamp goes out. It should take about 20 minutes. If you start the selectable regeneration process, you must let it complete before driving again. Continuing to operate the vehicle without regenerating the DPF after the red light comes on will result in an engine-reduced power condition and illuminated check engine light. If this happens, the vehicle will have to be taken to a dealer for service. So, after the warning light comes on, make sure to complete a regeneration as quickly as possible. If you initiate a selectable regeneration, you must complete it. If you start driving or depress the throttle or shift the gear selector, the regeneration process will stop 
and the amber or red selectable regeneration required light will flash. Failure to complete the selectable regeneration in a timely manner will result in a vehicle reduced power condition and the vehicle will have to be serviced by the dealer. You may also have to perform a selectable regeneration if you continue to suspend automatic regeneration before it completes. The selectable regen required light will appear and you must perform a selectable regeneration to complete the procedure. The rule of thumb is simple. If the regen in progress light is on, just let the system complete regeneration. Leave the engine running. If you're making deliveries, just put it in park apply the parking brake, and let it idle. Something else to remember, automatic regeneration will be disabled while you're using the power takeoff or PTO function of the engine. Therefore, if you're at a job site where you're using PTO all day, plan a selectable regeneration during a break, such as lunch. Shut down the PTO, keep the engine running, and press the selectable regeneration switch, or you might want to perform a regeneration before you start a long-term PTO operation. While you're running in PTO mode, you can still access the particulate matter level gauge in the MID, so you should keep an eye on soot accumulation. Isuzu's DPF system is mostly self-contained and automatic. There are just a few things you need to remember. For a quick reference, you'll find this label on the driver's side visor. For complete details, see your owner's manual. Now, let's take a look at the Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR, system. This system uses diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, to remove smog-causing oxides of nitrogen from the exhaust. Like the DPF system, there's very little you have to do. Just monitor it through the MID and refill the fluid every now and then. While there are a lot of sophisticated components in the system, the only part you'll usually deal with is the DEF tank. It holds 7.4 gallons of DEF and is located on the driver's side frame rail, just behind the cab. The system uses about one gallon of DEF for every 100 gallons of diesel fuel. That means about every 20 to 25 fuel fill-ups, you'll have to refill the system with DEF. For most applications, you'll probably have to refill DEF three to four times a year. You can monitor the DEF tank level with a gauge on the MID. It's here on the display, always visible. When the tank is full, you'll see four green bars. When the gauge is down to one green bar, you'll need to plan to refill the tank. When the meter registers only one green bar, plan to refill DEF when it's convenient. When it turns amber, refill the DEF tank right away. Vehicle speed will be restricted and the refill DEF message will illuminate on the MID. When the icon turns red, immediately refill the DEF tank. Although the engine won't quit running, vehicle speed can be severely restricted. If you continue to drive without refilling the DEF tank, vehicle speed will be limited to 5 miles per hour. In this case, the vehicle will not need to be taken to the dealer for service. Just refill the tank with DEF and cycle the key to restore normal vehicle function. Be sure to use only API certified diesel exhaust fluid, a high quality industry standard fluid. It contains one-third automotive grade urea and two-third deionized water. It's readily available at most truck stops, diesel filling stations, as well as your authorized Isuzu dealer. And never put anything else in the DEF tank. Any fluid other than API certified DEF can damage the SCR system, and this damage will not be covered under warranty. The SCR system is equipped with sensors that can detect if a fluid other than DEF is put in the tank. If you put in the wrong fluid, you'll see this light. The check engine light will come on, vehicle speed will be limited, and the vehicle will have to be taken to the dealer for service. Look for the API certified logo. If you need help finding DEF, contact your authorized Isuzu dealer or Isuzu customer relations. DEF is rated as a non-hazardous material, 
with an MSDS contact rating of 1, but you should still be careful not to spill it on yourself. Use a plastic or stainless steel funnel, not one made of galvanized or other metal. If you use a pump, again, make sure all parts are plastic or stainless steel. Other metals could contaminate the system. Be sure your funnel is clean. You don't want any residue from oil, coolant, or other fluid to get into the DEF tank. Label this funnel and keep it aside. Use it only with DEF. Don't overfill the tank. Fill it only to the F mark on the fill tube so it does not spill out of the tank. If you have any questions about refilling the tank, check with your diesel exhaust fluid supplier or your authorized Isuzu dealer. Although DEF will freeze in cold weather, Isuzu trucks are tested to work in extreme conditions, so there are no special cold start procedures you need to worry about related to the SCR system. If there is ever a failure in the SCR system, or if a fluid other than DEF is put in the DEF tank, the exhaust system light will illuminate, along with the check engine and engine reduced power lights. If this happens, Take the truck to your Isuzu dealer for service. Despite all the technology in this sophisticated system, there's really only one thing you have to remember to keep it working properly. Always keep the system topped off with high quality API certified diesel exhaust fluid. Your Isuzu dealer can help you find the right fluid. To help you monitor the fluid level gauge and what the icons mean, you'll find a label on the driver's side visor. For complete details, refer to your owner's manual. Your Isuzu truck is equipped with a state-of-the-art emission system that meets the strictest air quality standards and provides one of the cleanest emissions of any truck on the market. All you have to do is monitor each system and take some simple steps to keep them operating at highest efficiency. For the diesel particulate filter, if automatic regeneration begins, allow the system to complete the procedure, or if necessary, perform a selectable regeneration. For the selective catalytic reduction system, monitor the diesel exhaust fluid level gauge. When it needs diesel exhaust fluid, refill it as soon as possible. Use only API certified DEF, and keep your tools clean and used only for DEF. Keep these systems clean and filled, and you'll enjoy years of reliable, efficient, and productive service from your great Isuzu truck. Good luck!